please. Please be ready to escape if I will be ready. Don't worry. David, begin. God bless you, son. God bless us all. Thank you, man. Thank you. No one else fucking give me the kick in the balls I need. Fuck my dad. Fuck my family. They don't want to actually help me. They just want me to fucking be repressed. <laughs> thinking like talk to this chick in my job and like talk to her fucking put in so much effort and then what do I get in return nothing nothing fuck this and I'm like fuck I just want to go and get high I want to forget about all this bullshit I have to deal with fuck this shit fuck this shit sometimes I try to do things and it just doesn't work out the way I want it to and I get real frustrated like, I try hard to do it, and I like, take my time, but it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. It's like I concentrate on real hard, but it just doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it just turns out. It's like, Welcome I need time to figure things out. Yes, thank Welcome back, sir. What happened to you? Haven't seen in a while. I left the academy because I, I, I couldn't take it. I was on that feeling, dude. Six <laughs> years, seven years. Yeah, guess what, dude? I still have more time than you. I left the academy because I didn't want. To, I didn't, couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with it. I was not on. I was on lazy because you see, um, I had homework. Not not that much homework actually, but I was. I procrastinated to the very end. Gotcha. Shut up to the very end. Wait, is uh, is uh, is Deja Vu mad because you were doing better than him, or what? I yes, don't understand he what's is. Going. Yes, Dude, oh, yeah, I'm just not even on the Shut up, Deja Vu. Shut. He's mad because. He's a loser, and he wants someone to pick on, so he pick on me because I came back. And so right. Cool. He's like, well, he's guy. been here I'll way. He's been here like seven years now, long, way longer than you. What? He's been here way longer than you. He's been here Hold on a second. I'm trying to hear you. Go ahead. Sorry, what? speak up again. I took I took the trash out. JTG, go ahead. I'm talking to my friends. Okay. So what do you say? So this garbage guy's been here for seven years now, and so he's talking trash on you or something. Yeah, and you were coming back, and uh, I don't understand. Well, what's the beef with you and him? Nothing. I, I, nothing. I came back, and he's like, oh, God. I mean, here's Asian accent. And I got annoyed, so I told him he'd been here for seven years. Right. And then he got mad. He got mad. Right. Yeah. I'm like, how dare this guy? Yeah. How dare this guy who's been here for seven years, made no progress, still lonely, gained no respect, sneered down at me. He just knew that. Wow, JTG, it sounds like you came back. You, J- JT, it sounds like you came back guns firing and with balls as well. What happened? Damn, I activated his balls. Shut uh, up. No, you didn't. I don't think you activated his balls. What happened was I got annoyed. Is that, shut up. No, no, kidding. That was back on noise. What happened was I left the academy for one stool and two. I knew for a fact people um, use me as, um, I talk, I don't know what it's called, but I talk, and the moment I talk, someone jump on me. Because they know I, I was going to fail and not talk back. And so they used that time to like make a punching bag. better. Like a punching was, bag. What? Like a punching bag. Yeah, I was a punching bag. Or like a, a, um, I don't know what it's called. A stepping stone? A stepping stone. Was, okay. What, what, are they, what, are they stepping to, what are they stepping to, though? I mean. um, To um, feel better about themselves that they are better than me. Okay. You know, because that's, that's kind of how I was always like right. in school or in like <laughs> – from my school, I was the guy that people always laughed at, made fun of, and um. And so what? Hap- so what happened? Did you join a gang or something, or what? No, How did this no, all no. I, beca- I, I actually took, I became a cashier in Target, and I and so I talked to every single guest, open. Hey, maybe I reveal my feelings to them, and I listened to a video, and I. Wait, you li- whoa, 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 whoa! You listened to a video? I don't know sure uh, what. I, I listened to. The Academy's videos. Okay. And I practice pretty much by myself right there. You're practicing also, socializing by yourself? That's a formula yes, for disaster. Yes, yes. Bad idea, bro. <laughs> bad idea. Well, guess what? It's better than... I'd rather take that than be a stepping stone. Because okay. I knew if I was a stepping stone, I was just going to sit back and watch everybody laugh at me. At least this way, when I come back, I'm willing to fight for it. You're willing to fight for it? Okay. Yeah. I think it's kind of hard to make it without encouragement, but I can see how you'd want to avoid... What, what the fuck? 
Let's have encouragements. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're with a group of people, you get the scrutiny, which is good. But like you said, you also get the uh, get the guys like Deja Vu who are uh, just bitter and trying to take you down. So uh, His only goal right now is to make himself feel better by putting people down. Right. That's why he's newer than everybody. That's why he made no progress. That's why he's the last person in the academy. Okay. So, but and, I, I'm not concerned with him. I'm concerned with your progress. So I, I don't want you to be isolated because it's very hard to socialize in a bubble just by yourself. Especially, it's very difficult to even learn how to take criticism when you don't have any criti- You don't have any people – uh, correcting your views or even criticizing you uh, unnecessarily. So you can, and you got to learn how to handle critics. Uh, guys, guys are going to give you valid criticisms, and, and guys are going to give you bullshit criticism. You're going to have to learn how to take both and learn how to handle deal with both, both criticism that applies and critics that uh, are criticizing out of their ass and giving you criticism that doesn't apply. You're going to have to learn how to discern between the two. And it's very hard to do in a vacuum by yourself without any uh, you know other people speaking to you. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. Okay, fine. Right. <laughs> You're right. Okay. There's no argument suit against that. Well, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, so what finally made you come back? Um, I, I'm trying to do multi-level, multi-level marketing. Oh, you're a scammer now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, dog. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make some money scamming people. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I need some practice. Oh, yeah. oh, and also, I learned out, um, it's not my accent's a problem. I was actually born, it's genetic. I was born with a very short tongue. So now it was very hard for me to, like, pronounce a lot of words. Uh-huh. Well, you seem some... like, listen, I don't think your accent or your tongue is really your issue because you seem to be doing okay right now. And, uh... I, spent, I spent a lot of time practicing, Professor, in targets. Well, good. Literally, I was the kind of shit that everybody came to because I kept on talking, talking, talking. In fact, I, I broke the re- uh, in Target. We sell red cards. Mm-hmm. This credit debit card thing is a scam also. And long story short, <laughs> I, 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 I Wait, wait, the wait. Red You're targets. saying Target is running a credit debit card scam? Uh, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also, I I beat the record in my very first month. Record of what? Uh, the store, the store, um, how many red cards you can give to people in one day? Wait, well, I don't even understand what the fuck you just said. How many red cards you can give to people in one day? How many red cards? You mean how many, um, target, target, cards. target cards, cards you can sell to people? Yep, I bought the, I broke the record in one, in one, in my first month. Wow, sounds like you're but, a natural salesman. Oh yeah, I'm a natural salesman slash scammer. Slash scammer, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, scammer. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of it. So now I'm actually making progress. Well, you're not going to be proud when the uh, FBI decides to investigate your MLM scam. You got to be careful about that. No, it's legal. It's legal. Oh, it's a legal scam. It's like Amway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like Amway. It's, 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 it's exactly like Amway. Okay. By the way, someone tried to hire me for Amway. I almost joined. Did not actually join, so I tried to do this one instead. Wait, what? Someone try, oh, tried to hire me in Amway. I got that. I didn't join, uh-huh. so I'm doing this one instead. It's called Usana. Oh, okay. Wait, what, what are you selling? What are you selling? I'm selling vitamins and protein stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, like sugar. You just sell like powdered sugar. No, stuff. no, no. It's actually... Um, Yo, I'm in the middle of class. Come over if you want to work out after. Okay, it's actually um, pharmaceutical approved. They actually volunteered to like, go through this higher level standard of like... Yeah, they made their own regulation agency, and then they they pass their own regulations. <laughs> <laughs> they regulate their self regulating in other words. No, 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 no. It's, it's a legit thing, dude. It's a legit thing. Uh, but you just said it's a mar- like a MLM. How is this legit? Like, that's never legit, dude. It's always, like, bullshit. No, no, that's what everybody says. It's actually real. From what I was told. From what I was told. From what you were told. I, hey, I was told that, too. They took me to, I think they took me to some place in, uh, I forget where it was, maybe Irvine, and they made me, they gave me a sales pitch, and they had some people speaking about it. And I think it was... What's that? You mean a presentation? Yeah, some kind of presentation. That's what they do. One of, one of the goal is to get people to um go to the room where everybody talks about it, get it all hyped up, and hopefully yeah. yeah, exactly. Some kind of some kind of hype was going on, and then there was a big oh, scam. Oh yeah, that's a plan. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess you we were in really well. well, the same scam. Hang on a second. Let me plug in my microphone real quick. Dude, GT. <laughs> what? Have you started this job? Hindi? Hindi? Yeah. Well, I got a new name. Yeah. This is so strange. <laughs> so of, strange. Oops, swing on a second. So, T-Mac, go yeah, on. I, did, you, did you listen to the podcast? A lot of, right? lot of people I, I, got a new name. Sure. A lot of people got a new no, name. No, which one? Hang on one second. Uh, so it works. Test, 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 test. Yes. 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 No. <laughs> this thing is so I, fucking stupid. What's the point of plugging in if I can't even fucking record? All right. Fuck it. Not oh, using this anymore. fucking laptop mic. All right. Um, where were we? I was talking about his job. Yes. JTG. Yeah? JTG. JTG. What, what, what was the question? 
Uh, oh, we're talking about your job. Okay, I'll talk about my job. Uh-huh. And? And? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Okay, so you're back. Congratulations, you're back now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I don't remember what we guys talking about. What we're talking about. So I'm, talking about your I'm just talking about your scamming and oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. that you're back, JTG. I'm just surprised you're back out of the blue. You just, all of a sudden, one night, you just decided, oh, I'm coming back to the academy? Because I think you were still enrolled for some time. You just, you, you decided to so, enroll, but you didn't actually show up to classes. It, I, I left, and I planned I was going to come back eventually. Okay. I never planned to actually leave for good. Okay, but somehow you made up your mind. You thought, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah, because I'm going to go through a um, presentation on Thursday. And, I'm, and and this one guy hired me to the multi level marketing. And if I hire enough people, I'll go through this um, this, this special level of thing. Long story short, kind of like either, getting into the Mormon temple. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Long story short, it's either I'm gonna do good in life now, or I'm gonna suck for the rest of my life. So I decided to start doing things. I'm mm-hmm. gonna start with do my job better than I already am. Because for the past few months, I was I did good my first month in my job. The past few months, I kind of sucked though, because I went back to, to um school, and so I took a lot less hours. Whoa. And congratulations, you're back. Uh, how who have you been hanging out with? Anybody, or just your the, people at your job? People at my job, that's it. Okay. No one else. I've still been pretty lonely. All right, well, welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. Hi, Pitch Nigger. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Speak yeah. up. Ah, oh, fuck. I just got Speak back up. from a... I feel really not good. What? I... This, is... this is not good, Hi, Pitch Nigger. What are you doing? What do you mean you What, what do you mean you feel really not good? I don't understand what I, the fuck you're saying. It feels really awkward when he speaks. I forgot the grammar for this. Oh, you mean I'm he sounds awkward. Something? Yeah, you're not revealing your All feelings. JTG, it's really made it simple for you. All you got to do is pay attention to two things. Am I confused? If he's confused, if you're confused, he's not giving you the full thought. The correction is okay. give me the full thought. I don't want to be confused. The other correction is, am I – check and see, are you bored? If he's bored, you're, you're, if you're bored, he's most likely not revealing the feeling. So you tell him, look, you need to reveal the feeling. Otherwise, I'm going to fall asleep. I'm bored. Those are your two things you need to pay attention to. All right. Hi, fish nigga. I'm, I'm bored. And I'm also really awkward for some reason. I just had this really strange aura of like, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to reveal your feelings. So I'm like, you're a shit. You are a shit. I was born by this faggot, you motherfucker. You are saying like I have this massive beef with him. I was born. I share his Asian fucking I don't understand. Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, screaming guy. You're going to have to start from the beginning because I don't understand what you're saying. You fucking mute me, you sideline me. I have to be more. Mute you? I thought you muted your mic. What are you talking about? You can, you have control of your mic. What are you talking about? He's right of you. He mutes everybody. What's that? You. He muted yeah, everybody. Like, it's not going to have to be moral. Okay, JTG is back. I got to be nice. What are you talking about? Why do you got to be, why do you got to be moral? I told you that. First of all. JTG, shut up. First of all, why do you have to be moral? You, you always. Well, because, okay, his voice bored me. I'm like, you're boring. You're not really in the feeling. I'm yeah, but you, listen, there's a difference between you lashing out like a butthurt little bitch and him being boring. I think it's two different things. He's boring. I haven't talked have to this guy in so long. I don't like his voice. I don't. I don't when he's like. Well, ah, like I said, ah, you being a butthurt little bitch is different than a guy being boring. I mean, it's two different issues. Yeah, deja vu. I was, I was perfectly fine with him. I was like, oh, it's cool. Deja vu. Oh, I don't just, like that you're. I don't think you don't like that you're butt hurt. You don't. You don't like that I'm butt hurt. Yeah. I don't trust your corrections. You're butt hurt. Deja vu. I don't think you were born. No, 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 deja vu. No, 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 no. Shut up. I don't think you were born, deja vu. I think you feel like you're a loser, so you want to feel like. I don't think I'm like you haven't. No, 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 no. I want you to ask to give me your real thoughts. No, no, no. This is how I know. I feel better you loser. This is how I know for a fact you are not saying what you wanted. You are yelling like a loser because you have no control about what you're doing. I think all that shit every time. Shut up, you loser. You do this every <laughs> single time. Before I left and now, you scream hoping somebody will be moved. I am not moved. I feel sad looking at you. You've been you don't feel sad. You're a fucking liar. You no, do not no, feel sad. Shut you know. up. Shut up. It's depressing looking at you. You're not depressed. Look at your fucking face. Up, you loser. You've been in seven years, you have no friends, you lost a job one time, you made no progress, and yet you well, 
JTG, JTG, JTG. I think it's a stretch to say he's made no progress. I think he's definitely made some progress. Uh, just not very little progress. Right. I, I think relative relative to his ability level or relative to what he could be doing, I, I agree with you. It's definitely it, it was, stifled. It was an exaggeration, Professor. It was an exaggeration. What's that? It was an exaggeration. Yeah, I, it's definitely an exaggeration. I, that's why I think it's unfair. I mean, he's definitely made progress, but for his ability level to be where he's at right now, it's like uh, it's like a shame to me. If yeah, it, I know. It's sad. He should be leading class. He yeah, you're right. You. He should be leading class. The fact that he's still reacting like a butthurt little bitch is, is sad. That's why I agree with you. But to say he's made no progress, I think that's a it's an extreme exaggeration. Okay, okay, are you right? It's so wonderful. Deja vu. Shut up, goddammit. Quiet down. We're discussing. Go ahead, JTG. You made so little progress. Can you rather spend your time whining up people to save your pride? I, JTG, you're right on the money. He would rather whine at people to save his pride, and and uh, and in in the same at, at the same time shoot himself in the foot and negate his own progress. You're right. I agree with I you. I know. I'm like, stop looking at him. Look I at him. Agree with others. I Not all you idiots. No one wants to listen to you. I agree with you, JTG. Nobody <laughs> wants to listen. I agree with you 100%. Exactly. I, I don't understand how he doesn't understand, understand that after seven years. Well, listen. That's what a lot of the students with the pride make the least amount of progress. He's got probably the most pride here of anybody I can think of. Uh, it's a... It's a contest between him, Twenty Short, and uh, Shakespeare, and I think he's beat them both in the yeah, pride but, department. Well, at least those two made some progress. They're leading classes, I think. Are they still leading classes? No. Um, actually, I just sent a message to Shakespeare because I, he's been away since uh, Fruity Nigger tapped out. But I'd like to. Well, he tapped out. Really? Well, he, Fruity Nigger tapped out. So I, uh, Fruity Nigger and Shakespeare, are kind of a, a uh, I made them, I forced them to be together. But I think maybe I'm rethinking my position. I think I'm going to have Shakespeare come back um, and allow him to come back because I don't want. Fruity Nigger's progress to, or lack of progress, decision to shipwreck himself, I don't think that should affect yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah, I don't think so, so either. Uh, I, I think I'm going to let sh- allow Shakespeare yeah, to come yeah, back. let him go back. If Fruity Nigger st- decide to stop going, he should like just, you know, let him like suffer in real life. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to take away Shakespeare's progress. So I, th- I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to allow Shakespeare to come back. Yeah, and also even though he's, he's kind of, um, prideful, he uh, still help people, help people. I, I, I don't like this place. Wait, 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 you need to address what you really think because I can listen to JTG. I can listen to him fine. I think there's something in your head that you don't want to say. He's saying he's but, like, blackhead. Just what we all said. This is pride. He's just butt hurt. So I don't, I don't even trust his correction at this point. And also this blackhead is like this. Deja Vu think very little of me. So that yeah, way when I tap back and made a vest on him, he's like, oh no. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm now lower a ladder than JTG. I must fight it back. Dude, you've done this act and then you leave. This is... Fucking you, you've you been doing time. your act for seven. You've been doing your act for seven years. What are you crying about this guy for? <laughs> What's that? I don't care about. I'd rather talk to him. I'd rather talk to a guy make, making progress than you. A guy who's fucking stuck. You're an embarrassment. Dude, yesterday I didn't speak up. I got called out for that. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment. Hi, so I'm speaking up. But yeah, because yeah, this guy. You yeah, should, even well, it's like you you speak helpful. up when you get butt hurt. It's not really speaking up to me. It's just you you lashing out when you're getting butt hurt. This is useless. Who cares? I don't want to hear you when you're butt hurt. I don't care about you. Dude, you drag down the fucking class. You come in like JTG. I'm like I'm I'm like I'm happy listening to him. And then you come in. You just, rah, rah, rah. No fucker, I can't listen to you. I can't listen to you. I agree. You I'm drag like, down the class. I'd rather not have you in class. I'm like, dude. Where, where, where was the guy who's in the fake out? Like, when you were in the fake out, I was like, I was like having fun talking to you. And then this, you come in here and you're like, I have problems with your face. I have problems with your face. Whenever you say you have a problem with someone, no, whenever you say you have a problem with someone's face, it's not the face. It's, didn't something, say anything about his face. it's something that they do that you don't like. Cause I mean, okay, what does, is, what does is his face have to do with? You're not saying anything about his face. No, his voice, you heard him wrong. It's his voice, but no, it's not even his fucking voice. Deja, no, no, shut up. Don't go fucking white knight for deja vu. Deja vu, you always say that, like, you're like, oh. <laughs> You're like, oh, your face, it bothers me. You're like, oh, I didn't say anything about his face this time. Stop it. Like, it's all the same fucking insult, though. It's all the same insult. Just drop that. Like, what's your actual issue with this guy? I don't even think you have an issue. I, I think you're just doing I, this to start some shit. really don't like this wife. Besides the crime. 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 Besides the crime
He's got valid criticisms. He's got valid criticisms. And this is why you're still stuck at the seven years. Dude, if I didn't jump at him, I don't think he'd be saying all this. That's what I think. You don't know that, Dejavu. You don't know <laughs> you that. You bore me. No, 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 no. My, my, my question is, listen, listen, let's say, uh, hold on. Let's say you're, let's say you're correct. So what? You're still a fucking loser. You're still a fucking loser. You're still the bitch in the relationship because you're waiting for him to get you butter. What are you doing? You're just, this guy's your own, this guy's your whole world right now. This guy who hasn't even been in the academy has your whole focus right now. He's your whole world. That's how pathetic you are. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's let's let him not talk. Let's let's mute his video. Now he's gone. Now it's your class. Go ahead. Well, I, I want to talk about my Apple interview. I talked about it. Why do you have to preface? Why don't you just talk about it? Because because of how you like always. Oh, ah, see, me. once again, once again, it's just, oh. it, it's everything else. It's everybody else but you. That's why you suck. That's why I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to correct you. I'd rather work with other students who are willing. I feel you coddle them and make them better. Okay, so what? Oh, too bad then. Too bad. What do you want me to do? Well, I coddle I'm them. Funny. I'll get better too. You coddle twenty. I times. guess I don't. I guess you got a tough life ahead of you. Now what? Well, I'm fucked then. Well, I guess you're fucked then. Why even be here? Why yeah, why be here? You're fucked. Why be here? Because I don't want to be fucked. <laughs> You just blame everybody. Oh, you guys won't give me a chance. You cuddle everybody. I'm fucked. Well, then you're fucked. Then you're fucked. Make up your mind. You're fucked or you're not fucked. You're here because you're hopeful, but yet you're fucked. You don't even make any sense. You're responsible. Shut up, Tammy. You don't want to fucking... You don't want to stand behind what you say. Don't fucking say anything, Tammy. Just sit there like a lump on a log. I feel like you coddle people. Well, great. I do. So too bad for you. Well, coddle me. I don't want to coddle you. Wait, no, no, the professor, wait. I mean, gets he's attention he's more out. special than you. He's wider than you. Too bad. Doesn't make any sense what you're saying. 60% of the podcast... I don't want to waste... high pitch nigger. Know. I don't want to waste time on this crybaby. I want him to think he's coddled. Fine. I coddle 20 short. I coddle everybody but him. Too bad. Too bad. Well, I don't have a response to that. Okay, like, so then either you make up your mind. You train or you get the fuck out. Too bad. Everybody's coddled but you. Too bad. I'm never caught. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't argue. No, teabag, shut the fuck up. Fuck I don't man. want you to argue with him. Right, shut I the fuck up. Even if I'm not caught, then fuck. Half the time I'm lost, I'm like, should I make friends with high Yeah, you? you're lost. You don't know what to hey, do, right? Joe, you, you, you idiot. I'm about to just No, no, no. Guys, <laughs> okay, stop my video. Yeah, my reaction to Halloween. No, no, no. Shut up, shut up. Here's your prone deja vu. You wait for somebody to help you up. No one's gonna help you up anymore. You're old. You're a sneerer. No one likes you. You have to start moving. You have to reveal your feelings. I you think JTG hit the nail right on the head. I'm not done yet. Or else you will be stuck forever. You are not a woman. You are not hot. No one cares about you. You loser. Either you start moving yourself or you're gonna die. I agree with him a thousand percent. Oh, JTG is a fucking <laughs> Mac 10. JTG's a G oh money God. nigga. You, okay. Nobody cares about you. Too late. You better fucking move or you're gone. That's it. Exactly. Do or die now. Pity party's over. Do or die. Yeah. So deja vu. You either start doing some things or I'm kicking you out. I'm done. Ooh, I agree with him. <laughs> guy with balls Guy with balls makes the decisions around here. I agree with him. Can I deja vu? Let's go. And by the way, that does not mean whining, blaming, or anything, or anything wait, like that. Wait, wait, this is so bizarre. Wait, you're acting like you don't know what your thought is. Like, you're, you're, All you're right, shut up. Dave, shut up. Okay. Deja vu, let's go. I want to go back to California. I'm lonely. Good God, you still want you loser. I want you to tell Dude, me. The the only shut up. Do this one more time. I'm kicking you out. There I you go. You. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to lock it. Oh, sweet. Okay, now. Deja hold on. I'm locking, hold on. I'm locking it right now. You're going to have you're going to have his life in your hands. It's locked right now. All right. Ah, no, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up, you wanted bitch. I, I don't Shut even... up, you wanted bitch. I'm trying to help you. I'll give you an example. I want to do more to the left of marketing. So give me some money. Yeah, you're not going to make much money. I, I'm helping you, you loser. I want you to listen. Mute him. Wait, he's... No, 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 I will give you one chance. Mute him. I Stop muting me! I'm muting you. Hold on, I got you. I got you, JTG. You got the ball. Listen, JTG, you got the balls. I got, I got the help. Go ahead. I got your okay. back, JTG. Okay, Deja Vu. 
I want to do multi-level to marketing because I want residual income. I don't want to work for a loser my whole entire life. I want to be my own boss and make my own money on my own time. Eventually, if I do enough hard work, I can start working and still keep getting money. So we're going to spend time with my family and friends. My mom and dad, we're better now. You know, we, I used to hate my dad a lot. Is your dad still on you? Do you still hate your dad? I, I used to. He, he's, he's not a good dad now, in fact. Why? <laughs> why, 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 why is he good all of a sudden? What the yeah, fuck? This is what happened. I, I was really angry one day. I was yelling. And my dad's like, what's wrong? And I kept yelling. And my dad's like, okay, son, sit down, sit down. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, he said, sit down, sit down, and sit down. And he sat me down. And so I told him about my speech problem. And then he's like, son, I haven't told you that, this yet. We have a very short tongue. I have that too. It's genetic. There's nothing we can do about that. All you can do is slow down and relax. And then he's like, well, how come I can't speak Vietnamese then? And then he's like, son, we spent time teaching you English because you have a very short tongue. It's very hard for you to speak a different language. So we taught you English mostly so that you won't be as lonely. I mean, even right now, you you only learn English. You have a hard time, right? And I'm like, yeah. And so he's like, okay, good for me. If I taught you Vietnamese, it would be even worse. Yeah, but I don't think – I can hear you fine when you enunciate and take your time. It, it's no problem. I, I don't think you have a speech impediment at all. I mean short tongue or anything. I think you sound fine as long as you take your time and enunciate your words like you're doing. Yeah, that's what he told me. He said, son, here's the problem. You need to slow down. No one understand you. I talked to every single teacher you had. They all complain about this. You should slow down. And then I was like, why do you tell me this before? And he's like, son. <laughs> I think we told you this at the academy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do, you do, you do. But my, this is what happened. My dad said, son, because you don't listen. You don't listen. You don't care about anyone else but you, and we're trying to help you. Well, he didn't beat you enough. Maybe he didn't beat you enough. <laughs> Maybe not. He should have me harder, actually. Yeah, I would have given him a send of a bamboo by Amazon.com if I'd known oh, that yeah, was going to help. help. But deja vu. I want to do this because one day I want to have a family and my son, he might have the same problem as me. And I want to be able to help him so he doesn't have to go through the same problems I have. I don't want him to go through, maybe I want to go through this. Maybe he wants to friends. But I want him to be a leader here. Not something of a loser like you. you know, oh. seven years. <laughs> I wouldn't want him to be a loser here either, seven years. I want him to be exactly. a leader. You should enroll your children in Manhattan Academy to become leaders, not fucking losers. Exactly. And the best thing is, the um, most I love to marketing is, um, What's the word? It's willable. So if I die, they're going to have all this. Oh, God. I hope your son doesn't end up a multi-level marketer. I hope he goes on to do something better. I hope he does that (laughs) and a job also. I hope he gets a real job. (laughs) Maybe. But I also want him to be one day do like help other people also like at least do something. Not be sad and suicidal. Oh, he could be a professor at the academy. Maybe he can be. Maybe he'll be your heir. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be dead soon. I need an heir. Yeah. It's not going to be me. Maybe my son. Oh, my daughter. Maybe. <laughs> compared to, compared to the most of the losers out there, my daughter might do a lot better than a lot of people here. Maybe. <laughs> and plus the MRA, yeah. plus the MRA, the leader, like, um, what's her name? Karen Strong. She's a woman. She's a leader somehow. <laughs> a leader of a men's rights movement. <laughs> exactly. What a fucking embarrassment. I, don't know how I know. Okay, now, there's a who. Here's my example. Your turn. All right. Unmute. Well. I want to get promoted at my job. Oh. Okay, okay, no, stop, 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 stop. Deja vu. I'm bored. Let's I'm try. bored too. Yeah, now let's try again. This time, reveal your feelings. I want to get promoted. I know so much more about Deja vu. Don't beg. Food. Don't fucking beg. It's like a, like a, like a constant theme with you. You're always like, oh, I want to, like, you always ask people if your opinion's okay. Like, I'm just telling you, like, your opinion's not okay if you're fucking begging me. Now, Deja vu, here's another example. I want to be promoted because I want to gain respect with because of the higher rank. Because I don't have respect in my job for, because I'm a low rank member. That's one example I can do. JTG, I'm I think you're giving. Pl- Listen, I think you've talked plenty. I think it's all the burdens on him now. Okay. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to lead a team because Fuck why? No, no, I, 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 I can lead a team better than my boss. Dude. You are so invested on a calculated story. It is covering up what you really want to say. It is just like, it's, it's revolting. Or oh, I kind of want to build a, just say what you want. Yeah, so, dude, it is so hard to Isn't it funny? High pitch nigger. Yeah, high pitch nigger. You know this guy's bullshit because when you see him attacking people and you see it all come out and then you hear like the, the calculated calm guy, you're like, something's off here. It's like he's already shot himself in the foot. He already has gone so far to the extreme that we already know what he, we already know what he sounds like when he's revealing the feeling. So when he pulls back and is like, hey, here's the calm calculated deja vu, you're like, what? How could this guy be this guy over here and then this guy over here is two-faced? 
Yes, you don't make any damn sense. You were just, you were angry a few moments ago. You're saying all this, you're yelling yeah, at the no press today, you're yelling at JT. I want a structured job. Okay. What the heck are you doing? Just say what you want. Well, I do want to get promoted, but that's... When high pitch nigger is telling you that you should say what you want, that's a bad sign. <laughs> well, I wanted you to come and hang out with me in Texas. You never oh, came. Dude. You're a fucking loser. You're going to come and hang out with me. Dude, you are attaching yourself to anything anyone says. JTG right now says something about your car. Oh, well, you see, I got that colored car. You have no direction. Everyone's just bouncing you around like a ping pong ball. You have something to say. Say it. Quit grabbing onto every little thing that someone says. I just want to be able to... Sounds like... I want to be able to speak without begging. I hate this begging thing. It's pretty much deep. Then I do it. Then do it, Deja Vu. You keep on whining. Now you'll do it. I can only think of getting a better... Ah, well. There you go. Come on. All right. Happy landings. Okay, high pitch. Let's go. I went... God damn it. God damn it. Oh, no. (laughs) Let it go or you won't be happy after you speak. I'm on this. I'm on a business trip. You want to be relieved I, after you speak? I will be. The, That'll the be. Program man, every time the like, I'm with the program manager, and every time she brings up, "Hey, let's go eat here," I'm like so agreeable. I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, anywhere you want to go." And I fucking feel myself doing it. I'm fucking like, what the fuck are you doing? And like, it's, I feel like a fucking slave or like a and like they'll say those elephants when you chain an elephant to a tree and you remove the chain, it's still there. Like, I'm like, <laughs> behaving like this. I'm like, I want to eat here. I know I want to eat this food. Just say it. And she's like, "What do you think about this?" Yeah, yeah, we can do that too. And then I find myself just like, like laughing at everything, just like, a, like anything. <laughs> Like throwaway language. I fucking hate throwaway language. It's like when someone says something to you, and they're like, yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh. I always feel those people like simple-minded. I'm like, I don't want to be, like, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I hate that crap. And I find myself doing that shit. I'm just like, fuck, just say what you want. It's just so much easier. But all this filler language and giggling, I'm like, god damn, I'm trying to be so fucking agreeable. And it, and it's, and I'm in such a comfort zone with it that when people finally do something like I don't want to do, because I haven't said no to them the whole time, I can just fucking sit there and I sit there stewing and stewing and stewing. And I'm like, that's exactly what I'm setting myself up for. Because I know that's going to happen because I'm just so fucking agreeable. So people are just going to, she's going to fucking, oh, well, let's meet a fucking six. Oh, let's do this. Let's do it. I'm fucking agreeable. Like, fucking A. And I feel myself doing it. I keep doing it. I don't so think I you're speak. agreeable. I think you're just a guy who wants to be liked, who wants to belong. And instead of doing it the correct way by giving people your real thoughts, you think by giving people what they want to hear, that's the way to be, uh, that's the way to get ingratiated into the group. That's the way to make the relationship. Yes, and it's already cost me. Like, we went somewhere, and I'm the engineer, and we have, like, a whole plan that we go through. And I had already taken the guy through the whole plan, and she's just trying to follow the procedure. And I'm like, the guy's asking me good questions. He's like, when I do this, when I do this, how does it work? And I'm like, here's how the system is. And she comes, oh, we're following. We're on step two. And I look up, and I'm like, I want to, I'm like, are you fucking retarded? This dude wants to actually know what this He's not going to give a fuck about a procedure. He wants to go through. Well, bitches, just like, bitches just follow orders. Bitches are good at procedure. <laughs> yes, yes. They're just like, she ha- and she has the form with her, too. She's, like, checking everything off. I'm like, so rather than this guy understand what the thing's used for so he can have an intelligent discussion about it and know what we're actually setting up here you just want to go through a list and have him sign it and leave and then later on he's fucking calling confused doesn't know what's happening but i just sit back and let it happen because like you said it's more i think it's effective to just be like so we've taken on so much workload that we're not even supposed to do so then this other group they're like well we have our own procedures that we follow and it's a whole other 30-day plan that we do and we think that you guys should do it too so she goes, oh, yeah, our team will write it up. And I'm like, that list in your fucking hand that you're so worried about, that is our fucking procedures. Why are you taking So now what? Our whole team is now doing a bunch of shit because I didn't push back. I didn't say fucking no. So now we're doing shit we're not even responsible for. Writing up plans for some other whole fucking team. But why? Because I never fucking put my foot down the same shit. So I think it's like an accumulation of all that shit. Now I feel myself out with her at this trip. and I'm just So like, I take yeah. it like pouring lighter fluid on her desk and just burning is out of the question? <laughs> That's where it's getting to because I'm just stuffing it all in. I'm just like just keeping it all in. And then like today. Well, was that's worse, how workplace shootings like, happen. <laughs> What's that? That's how workplace shootings happen. <laughs> and that's the worst part. I don't even know. I don't know how to break out of it. I feel like all the people that know me. Are, oh, well, I know how to break kidding. out of it. Speak up in class. This is what this fucking program is <laughs> for. It's called training. Social training. That translates to the real world. <laughs> And I haven't gotten that part yet. This is the place to not be agreeable. This is the place to be opinionated. Yes, and I keep thinking just like a couple of good classes are enough. Fucking no way. I'm still waiting. You need an attitude. You don't need situational conversation. You need an attitude that you can bring to the conversation. Yes. uh, Yes, the other day my dad was telling me some bullshit about my sister wanting to 
pick up furniture that she already didn't want. And I told her, if you don't want this furniture, don't come back. You're leaving it. Yeah, yeah, I don't want it. But she does this shit because she knows my dad's going to back her up. So he's like, oh, yeah, she wants it back and I'm going to come by. And I'm like, what? You ain't coming by. He's like, I'm going to come by because that's the way she wants. I go, I don't care what she wants. She said to leave it there and leave it there. And then my dad was like, oh, what's she trying to say? And then my dad leaves real quick because that's what he does. And then I found myself just talking to myself going, damn, damn, damn. I fucking feel like I'm fucking crazy. Like, what those simple-minded motherfuckers like I told you about? Because he's gone. And I'm, like, imagining still the argument in my head. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Man, you need to stop people and be clear. You need to stop with the explanations and be, here's, no, here's how it's going. Like that. You need to stop people. Justification, yeah. justification is for adults. Telling people what to do is for children. People have to earn your justification. Like, if you explain something to somebody... They have to earn the justification. If they're not listening to you, why are you wasting your breath justifying your reasons to them? You're right, and that's the worst part about dealing with my dad. He already knows the nooks and cranny that he's used to getting away with, so he does that stuff. Like, just well, you already away. know that, so why are you fucking feeding into that? You should be telling, look, here's how it goes. End of story. Fuck. You know, I don't know why the fuck I'm toler- still tolerating Hang it. Hang on a second. Let me uh, mute all. Allow participants to unmute. All right, everybody can unmute now. I picked nigger, man. Black nigger, fucking... you got anything? Yes, fuck. I'm just sitting here like, God damn, DTP. Yeah, but you were ignorable. Second ago, they said black kid was fucking talking. Let him go. No, no, I, I listen. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let whoever wants to speak go. But Costanza, you don't stand behind it. I don't want to hear from you. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go. Go ahead, Costanza. Go ahead, Costanza. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Keep back. Hang on. Look, high pitched nigger. I like listening to what you have to say, which is fucking incredible, man. Usually you're just fucking sitting there. Costanza, like, I don't want to listen to you though. You do this every time. Even before I left, you're like, I'm gonna be this big tough guy guy. You're not tough, Costanza. The hell are you talking about? Costanza, this is my problem. Oh, hold on, 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 Costanza, hold on. This is, a, this is my big, big this is, oh my god, this is my biggest problem with you. Slow like, down, slow down, guys. Never say anything. Stop. Shut up! You always try to patronize those other people like high pitch nigger, uh, tea bag. Oh, you're doing a great job. Are you I can't fucking up? listen to what you're saying, man. Slow the fuck down. Shut up. Hold on, black kid. He's got a legitimate correction. Slow the fuck down and get a hold of yourself. Articulate at your pace. Don't rush off stage. You want your words to matter. Make them matter. Okay, Costanza, this is my biggest issue with you. You always patronize other people. Oh, you, 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 you pretend to care about other people. I never hear anything about your life at all. Like, you, you're, just, you're literally the same guy. You're just a tough guy. That's all I see. Like, I fucking, like when, I, when I go to Google I look up, and I look up rednecks, I see you. You look, you look at a generic picture on Google. That's it. Because you never say anything. I know nothing about your life. I agree with you a thousand you percent, never... Blackhead. I agree with you a thousand percent. There's no info. I never, I don't know anything about you at all. all. All I know is you're a tough guy and you're a guy that just patronizes and try to pretend you care. Oh, hyper snigger. I like that. What about you? What I about agree. Your life? Why the I fuck never... do I care about this guy's life if my guy, my life is in shambles? I don't know. I'm just the JTG speaking of it. If I'm starving, talk. I don't care about this guy getting into a wedding or uh, having a, even a funeral. I don't give a fuck about anything. I care about me starving. So, Cassandra, talk about you. What about your life? What do you want? Oh, I said what I wanted to say. All right, right. No, 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 All right so we're gonna we're not gonna waste time anymore. Go ahead, black kid. The fuck? JTG, son, I'm so fucking jealous of you, bro. Like you're doing good at your job. I'm jealous because I oh, like I hate my fucking job at KFC. All I do is talk to people. I got a dickhead uh, manager like bullying me and shit. And here you are. Oh, I know that feeling, black kid, so bad. Oh, like, be, oh, you're a multi-level marketing guy. I'm like, I wish I was your position because I got nothing right now. All I do is play video games. I got nothing. Some, I hey, can't. I heard, uh, I heard Mexidence is hiring. <laughs> uh, listen, you know what? Oh, funny, funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold it's like, JTG, it's like, I'm so fucking bored. I, I, like, I literally played one video game for eight hours, and, and then I stopped playing it, and I'm like... I know, that's Maybe you should talk to Mexidents. Maybe. I don't, I'm, I'm afraid. I don't know him. I don't know well, him Well, like I guess that. then you can stay, 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 then stay at KFC. Then stay at KFC. Black boy, black kid, what do you have to lose? You lose the chicken? KFC. The, the breast meat? The drumsticks? 
He's got a lot to lose. The honey, the honey barbecue wings. The mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes, the mashed potatoes, potatoes and gravy. He's got so much to lose. Here's the thing. I'm going to go specifically. Like, Jake DG, like, when I see people, people like you. High pitch nigger. If you don't want to be in class, get the fuck out of class. Fuck. Go I want to be in class. I want to train. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, why, why, why are you saying that? Because you're not fucking paying attention. That's why you're saying that. Black kid, go. Like, JT, if you're JT, bored, JT. let him know you're bored and not paying attention, high pitch nigger. Stop being a nice guy. Yeah, black kid, reveal the feeling, dude. Fuck yes, you're dude. just right like, now. It just feels like you're just like, like, rambling, just to ramble. You have something to say, just go that direction. Just stop rambling. Black kid, okay. I know. Black kid, I know what you want. Go to we're mess with dance, God damn it! You no. either stay. No, 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 no. You either stay there. Go to KFC and play games the rest of your life and complain. Why did I do something about that before? Or you can go and maybe do something. Because guess what, Black Kid? I'm not successful. All I'm doing right now is going to try something new and I'm going to do my best and see how far I can go. But like, Guy could, <laughs> maybe JDG should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> Maybe I once dreamed about that. I once about I once dreamed about that when I was a kid. Maybe you'll maybe you'll be a, you'll get a couple uh, notches on your belt, and then you'll come back and speak about it. You'll be a motivational speaker. Yeah, I'll be uh, the academy representative. Yeah. I used to be a loser when I was a kid. Used to be a fucking loser. Now I'm the academy. But I started moving. Now I'm a multi-level marketing scammer. Exactly, but I'm rich. I'm happy. He's a rich multi-level marketing scammer. Exactly. Look at me now. Come on, academy. Black I'm, kid. It's your no, reaction. Let's go. Like. I wish yeah, I had that. Like, like the kind of, oh my god! Black kid, take a fucking stand. Like, like for once, for once, be listened to. For once, this is your chance to be listened to. Like, we, you have the floor. You have the floor. We have carved out this space for you artificially. Everyone else is talking around you. You have to fucking talk for yourself now. Do it. Let's go. I, okay, I aspire to have the same work ethic as you do because I'm like I'm so lazy. Wow. High pitch nigger. High pitch nigger. You don't want to patronize them. You don't want. You were talking about patronizing when our thing was patronizing. I'm bored. I'm bored. You're Can't patronizing. Kendall, I'm bored. Kendall, yes. I'm bored. I, I, you. Yes. I'm not about you. Come on, reveal your feelings. It sounds like a speech. Let's go. Fuck <laughs> it was. A, it's a good correction. Shut the fuck up. No. Black kid. Not you said saying that you were patronizing. No, 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 you have to move me, or else I don't want to listen at you. So let's go. I agree. Let's go, nigga. Black kid. You no. are said you are bad. I am bad. God, 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 I am High pitch, no. nigger. If you're going to interrupt, interrupt the whole way or shut the fuck up. Make up your mind. Cam Dilla, you're still begging to be heard. If you have something you want to tell Black Kid, tell him. Don't beg him to listen to you. You have something to tell him. Tell him. Go ahead. Black kid, you said you were bored. Stop fucking beating around yeah, the bush. No, 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 no. Same thing. Still begging to be heard. Stop begging him to be heard. You have a right to speak. Go ahead. Black kid. Okay, no, no, no. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. He's Black still kid. checking. Wait, wait, He's still wait, checking. Wait, guys, wait, is this okay? Wait, is this okay, wait, guys? Wait, Cam Dilla. This is how I know the speech. You start the same way every time. We Black. got that. High pitch. Correct. Let's go. Camdilla, every time someone says anything, you're paused. That's how I know you don't give a shit about what you're saying. If you care about what you're saying, you tell people to shut up, and you tell Black Kid what you want from him. Oh, yeah, fuck you, right. Stop Black hesitating, kid. stop warming up, just tell him. Black Kid, you said you're bored. I'm bored as well. I fucking, like, I just want to see if I can go to, like, an amusement park. I miss that shit so much. I miss being on a fucking roller coaster. I miss that so much. Last last couple of weeks of my life, the boringest ever. Oh, actually, the only exciting thing that I kind of did was just watch Captain America the other couple of days. And that, mo- like, just the only thing about that movie was the ending. The ending was that Don't I... Don't spoil I, it for me, dude. Don't spoil it for me. It. Huh? What, JCG? Don't spoil uh, it for me. Yes, the ending I just like the most. Black Kid, I don't want you, I don't want to hear that all, that your fucking skills at work suck. I want to hear, you said you're bored. What the fuck you want? I want to know. Because I'm bored too, brother. I can fucking relate. I agree. For that kid, let's go. I want to do something meaningful, like... No, you don't, goddammit, Black Kid. You want to fucking let loose, bro. You want to have, like, the time of your life. You Hurry like, up, Black Kid. kid. Go. Oh, okay, I'm bored. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm you're no bored because you're boring. It's the story of your life. You're bored because you're boring. You don't want to make a decision. People who don't make decisions will always be bored. They'll forever be bored. You don't... You hedge your bets, you're going to be bored. You don't decide to do this, you're going to be bored. You stay here, you're going to be bored. You gotta make a decision. Just like speaking. If you don't decide, you're gonna be bored. You don't give no. your opinion, you're gonna be bored. You deserve to be bored. Go, Cam- go, Tammy. 
fucking wait, 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 professor, professor, I have to, I have to go right now. I have go. To, like, yeah, okay. I felt so fucking dirty today because I gave a correction to, I don't even know who it was. I gave a fucking correction and I just did not feel it at all. I was like, I was saying it and I, I was looking up at you. I'm like, this professor could prove this per- correction. And I'm like, oh God. Like, even like, just because I stand behind something, it doesn't even mean it's real. Like, that's the scary thing. Like, like you can just stand behind bullshit. Like, I have no yeah. clue what you're talking about. Cause yeah, I like, like, <laughs> what are you standing behind? I don't even think you're standing behind it. You acting is not you standing behind it. Wouldn't you, you would have called me out though if I was bullshitting? How does you, what do you, think, you, bullshitting? you think everybody calls out bullshit here? No. All right, I are you gonna to waste like... my time and give me a reaction? Wait, what are you trying to do? You're moralizing? Like, oh, I did this. Anytime you're ready. Ah, fuck. Right, whatever, what fuck it. I'm out. All right, uh, Tammy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, it's good to see JCG again, but, uh, he's Don't not care. Yeah, you, you, you don't care about JTG. Go High pitch nigger. Stop beating around the bush. This is why you fucking agree to go to places you don't want to go to. Because you keep beating around the bush. You want to end up I'm like black kid just hedging your bets, not making a decision, being bored? No, but I'm trying not to yell this time. You don't have to you fucking yell. Just that. whisper. Don't yell. Tammy, you haven't said anything in the last couple of classes I've seen you in, and now you care about JTG? How the heck can you care about him when we haven't even gotten to caring about you? You don't say something about yourself. Stop trying to leech off of JTG. You don't care two cents about him. He's just been here one day. No, it was back when I first joined, because you joined Uh, Uh, Tammy, I didn't ask you for an explanation of JTG. I asked you to tell me what you want. I want a lot of things. I want a a a career. Dude, I didn't ask you for a bunch of fun facts. Tell me what you want. I know there's tons of problems in your life. I can tell yeah, by the way I, you sound. I can tell by the way you look. I can tell by the way you're breathing. The way you're looking, you're staring right now. You have tons of crap going on in your life. Stop looking for all the circus crap and say, just say it. Well, I'm lonely. I, I don't. I don't feel like I can. Like, dude. You want to be a punchline for the rest of your life at this academy? No, of course not. Anytime you're ready. I it, but I don't know how. Every time I you fucking it, just let go. You make the decision to stop covering your ass. Tell me, here's what you do. You stop thinking. I see you as a guy who spent his whole entire life thinking about what he thinks. Yeah, I know that. that. Speak! Let's go! Just go, Tommy. I just want something to get out of my head. All right, fuck you. Go ahead, I bitch nigger. Go. Tommy. Yes. Get just out of your fucking vocabulary. No, no, we're done. No, 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 we're done. Who's next? High pitch. God, dude, I keep gotta keep thinking that one class means I'm good. I came back, I thought like I'm gonna deal with my dad, I'm gonna deal with all these freaking issues on how he always muscles his way in in my life, and I freaking I didn't even realize that I was explaining myself to him and just wasting my energy. And that's the same shit he always does, like ramps me up, ramps me up, and then just leaves, and I'm there talking to myself still. I don't know if that makes sense to you, professor, but I'm there literally having the conversation. Like I'm like da da da. I should have said this. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're going to say this? I'm just having the whole conversation. I'm imagining him saying stuff. Like, I'm freaking crazy. Like, I'm imagining him saying responses to me, and I'm responding back to him. And, I, and like, he's been gone for 10 minutes. And I'm like, dude, I am fucking crazy. No, I that's what we do in high I, school. Yes. I'm like, I've been doing that for so damn long. It's like normal. Well, I see it now. More well, same with just, black kid. Black kids hold conversations with themselves all the time. Like, I, yeah. Why are you pausing? Is it lying or am I just... He's just pausing. He's a pussy. Let's go, oh, high no, bitch. I thought, he, I thought he was going to say something. I'm you thought wrong. You... What do you fucking care? It's your fucking reaction, dickhead. He's on your timetable. You're not on his. Ah, uh, stop yeah. hesitating, high bitch. The same thing. Yes, well, it's the same crap I do. And I'm just like, I'm just like tired of it. I'm just like... I well, don't end up like black kid. Make a decision. All you gotta do is make a decision. You gotta learn to live with a bad decision. You've already made so many bad decisions. You're still worried about making more bad decisions. You've already made enough bad decisions. Let's go. Just make them. Yes, that's what I need to do. Because I'm just more worried about just, okay, well, if I do this, my dad won't do this. Because that's how he used to keep me, like, in line. Like, oh, well, who pays for this? Or who takes care of this? I'm so worried about all that crap, but it's not getting me anything. It's not getting me anything. It's getting me talking to myself. That's what it's gotten me. Talking to myself, withdrawing from people. That's where my techniques have gotten me. And I'm tired of that crap. Good. About time. I'm tired of it, too. JTG. All right. (laughs) So much, so much more fun being here than outside of the academy. Because at Target, I, I have to be nice to every single person. The problem, though, is some of my coworkers are feminists. Target is like this liberal, very liberal place. They even allow the bathrooms to be um, transgendered. 
you like you a guy? You like a, you like you dress like a woman? You can go to the women's bathroom? And I'm like, I can't say anything about that because I'm just a cashier. So I'm should go in the woman's that. bathroom. Say you're and transgender. I maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. <laughs> no, I don't want to though. I don't want to though. But it's like I, I'm afraid to say anything because my mentality is completely different than the liberal left side way of doing things because um half the half the um. T- Places like feminists, yeah, be nice to women, and half the people go there. They're like, I seen some um, male people where the women's like, I'm the boss. And the guy's like, Yes, you are. And I want to say, No, dude, you're the man in the relationship. In the relationship. Yeah, you have to be target party. employees aren't allowed to hit women, are they? No, you're not okay. allowed to hit anybody. You can't do anything. You have to do this. Okay, okay, yes, I'll be nice to you. Hey, are uh, you find anything all right? Here's your order. You want a red card now? Hope you have fun. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. And because I do, th- and because I do that, everybody loves me. You seem like the happy-go-lucky guy, but inside I'm like, I hate. Wait till you shoot up Target. I know. I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? How you doing? How's your red card? But the thing is, I I want. To like go to, that's why I'm glad to be here. So at least now, I can release all my anger and frustration to people around here. And, and because I'm an, I'm so annoyed now. I don't know how or why I was able to just sit back and like let people like punch me around. Because now, when someone punches me, I'm like, I want to punch that guy. In fact, one day at Target, this was uh, my, this new, um, assistant manager, which is only just about one step above me. The guy was like, you can't do this. And I'm like, stop. And I got angry doing that because I was told otherwise I could do it. And I got really angry to the point where I was holding my, um, we're gonna scan a thing, to scan things, and I was gripping really hard, and I was shaking, and I was like, I wanna punch my new chest right now. And then, and then he's like, okay, Jason, you can't be angry, which got me even angrier. And I was like, I was, this close from, I was this close from punching him. And he's like, okay, let's, let's, let's go to break now. Go, go sit back. And I was like, I was this close to getting fired. And I, and I was like, okay, okay, I really need to find a way to let this out. And, uh, I'm glad to be here. So well, much easy. It's this, so much easy also. This when you is, learn it out. I yeah. I just, what I don't understand is how I, how I was fearful for everybody here. Because one of the big reasons why I didn't talk at all was I have fear and respect for the people here for some reason. I remember. You're a nerd? Started, yeah. I mean, people here. You're I fucking nerds. People here. Well, guess what? That's what? I was a bigger nerd. I was like, um, I was like, uh, it was, it was, it was Shakespeare now. Is that his new name? It was, um. But uh, butter skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I, when I first started out, I was like, okay, this person's here, he's a teacher, he must know everything. He, if I listen to him, he's in my best interest. The no, boy was I wrong. <laughs> there was some days, <laughs> Listen, I mean, just I'm because, like, just I, because deja vu has ability doesn't mean he's here for your good. I, that's what, I, that's what I thought back then. Now I know that I'm not. But back then I was like, okay, I must relax, take any photos as possible, like, um, Get anything people say, put into like a list in my head, things to do and not to do, and I'll be fine. And then little by little, I was a punching bag. First, people, I used to like, you know, I used to like, um, invite people to like one-on-one set calls. And then, at first that was fun, but then the problem was, there were people who were, um, backstab me, or like, remember when, um, you find out- We gotta was, wrap like, this up. Get, take 30 more seconds. Forget about all that. Let's go. Just react to class. Let's go. Okay, the class was great. It was awesome. I'm glad to be back. I feel like a boss here. I was actually leading class for a bit. You are a boss. Awesome. Yeah, I Listen, believe- whoever I- speaks, whoever cares about what they say and make the decision to say it, that's it. That's who leads. It's mm-hmm. that simple. The funny thing is, I learned all of us from Target. Because as I was like talking to people, I was like, yeah. I just, I just stopped thinking one day. I was like, I just stopped thinking. I started speaking. And sometimes I said some, some Maybe horrible Maybe we things. should send all the students to Target to work at Target instead of the academy. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Right. Am I, am I, no, no, as a side class, a side class. Side class, supplemental. You have to speak, you have to speak to customers. All right, we'll, we'll uh-huh. bring customers in here. Make it like Target. <laughs> Camdilla, go ahead. Uh, Why Black Kid, go ahead. Are I'm you fucking paying attention? I already went, I already went. All right, Costanza. I'm so buttered right now. I'm like, speak up, can't oh, hear you. God, I don't want to hear you, but speak okay. up anyway. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? How about now? Go, hurry up. I'm butthurt. I got this turning. Dude, at least oh, stand oh, behind your complaint. God damn, yeah, dude. That, hey. I'm hey. I'm hey. I'm How the fuck does a High pitch guy? correction. Let's go. You're not even standing behind your complaints. At least when Deja Vu gets pissed, he's saying, fuck you, fuck this. You're just like, I'm in a bad mood. And then when you, you don't say where you want to go, but then you can't even complain. At least be able to complain. Fine. You're not going to say where you want to go. At least be able to complain. Even your freaking complaint sounds scripted. Go to the, now go. Are you That's serious? What I, I, I about what you're 
That's what I feel. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? High pitch. High pitch. Dude, you are such an actor. God damn, dude. I can't tell if you're angry, you're happy. That's why I know you're bullshitting. I'm bored right now. God damn, dude. If you're I said butthurt. I didn't say bored. I said butthurt. You're still not standing behind what you're saying. You're asking me right now if you're okay, man. I feel butthurt. I feel butthurt. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. What are you talking about? Are you serious? I'm serious. No, 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 no. Costanza, I don't want to fight you. Let's go. Hi, pitch. Let me know when you're done with this guy so we can move on. Costanza, I'm gonna give you one more chance and I'm done. Stop begging to be heard. If you're gonna complain, either complain, say where you want to go, or just let's skip on. Now go. The original point I was trying to make was that. Thank you. Thank God. Cam Dilla, go. Black Kid didn't go yet. He didn't go yet. He already went. He went first. I already went. I'm going, and then Black Kid. When did Black Kid go? I was like, no, no, that was class, Black Kid. That was class, not reaction. Black Kid, let's go. Now, good thing you're paying attention, JD. You should be professional. Go ahead. Uh, I, I didn't like this. Can't run away, Black Are you going to mumble your way through your reaction? <sighs> uh, this whole class was uncomfortable. Like, I was... I hate... I hate I, this class. I'm not sure you're a black kid, but I'm pretty sure you have fucking reactions. Now go. I was just jealous of JTG's, like, life and him being doing good when he, he just came back and you're, like, talking to everybody and you're standing... But I'm like, I was jealous of you and I was so jealous of you had doing good at your job. Baby, you should go on mess of dance. No, that's not the point. That's like I, I, I oh, make our targets. No, hold on. I aspire to have that kind of work ethic because, like, I always see people. Maybe go to Target. Yeah, put an like, application to Target. That's <laughs> not the point. That's not the point. It's not no, the point. No, this is the point. You want this? It's not it's the money. It's not some way. It's not the money. It's, 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 not the money. it's like I'm so lazy. Like there, there's things I can do with my life. You're not lazy. Like, you're, not, you're, you're not. You're not lazy. You're not lazy. You're neurotic. Well, okay, I want you to explain this because I'm like. I, you're like, not okay, lazy, can... you're neurotic. If you start making the decision to speak up, you will suddenly magically not be lazy anymore. I just find it hard to believe because like JTG is neurotic and he's like doing he's good at speaking work. He's, up. Motivating. he's speaking up. Go work at Target. Well, whatever. I mean, that's that's it. I just, that's it. Okay, one more thing, Black Kid. Again, you can like not do something, I'm not going to work at Target, or I'm going to mess it in. I don't know what you're saying, JTG, because you're not enunciating your words. Fine, fine, fine. I want you to do something now. You keep complaining about, I'm lazy, I'm lazy. Well, guess what? You can stop being lazy. All you need to do is go in Mexicans and get things to do. So that way, you have to work or you like, go back home. And there, was, there will be someone to hold you accountable there, hopefully. Now, let's go. I mean, I said that's it. That's it. <laughs> Cam Dilla. That's it. Cam Dilla. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't be lazy. JTG, man. JTG. I wish you, I, the only thing I wish that you would have included, you would you should have included more tits and ass in your freaking when you were talking earlier, man. Tits and ass? What? Tits and ass? What? What? I right. wanted to hear, there should have, at least, like, I, in the beginning, I wasn't so interested in what you were talking about, but I was like, you were back and you were talking. But I just, I wish you included more tits and ass in your freaking costume. What do you mean by that? Why? Why? What do you mean I'm by that? I'm dying and I'm thirsty, man. Like, I'm dying, I'm thirsty, I, I want, I want to have like a freaking more than. Why don't you tell him to put tits and ass? I don't understand. Why don't you stop him and tell him you need more tits and ass in his reaction then? Cause I did it. I'm a pussy. I don't. I, I, I was silent the whole damn class until now. I would say no. Why would I do that? For Why you? not? Not for you, Camdella. Woman. Especially not, not, not now. Not now, Camdella. Not now. Why not now? You should have watched. No, no, Camdella. This is his problem. It's Forget. Problem. Listen. Uh, shut up, JGG. I need to hear his reaction. Go. Hurry up. All right, dude. Why not? Like, Fuck I'm you. This isn't know, question and answer time. This is your reaction, Camdella. Let's go. Yeah, like. Ah, that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, that sucks, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, Dilla, it's your reaction to the class. You don't have to latch on to one thing. It's your reaction to the you class. You had all kinds of... You were in the fucking class. Let's go. Like, it, it's always... I'm just thinking about other people. Like, I was just thinking about fucking Costanza and, like, him, him just fucking, like, trying to, like... Stop trying to you justify... Don't you don't have to justify your thing. fucking reaction. Just give it. Fuck, I know. I wish I would have said more. I didn't say jack shit. I was Jam fucking Jam back. Jam Jam Jam. Just say You it. didn't you say jack off. shit. Now's your opportunity, stupid. You have reactions. Either you give them or you don't. Like, I, JTG, I was just fucking bored by what you were talking about in the beginning. But I was just b- glad that you were back and you were ta- you were at least talking. Because I wasn't talking. At least somebody was talking. Same thing with freaking... Th- same thing with High Piss Nigger. You were talking... I hate... High Piss Nigger, I fucking hate it when you talk about your dad, bro. I, I, I'm pretty sure... Like, okay, you, you talked about other stuff. But I just hate when you talk about your dad because I know there's more shit going on in your life besides your freaking dad. Your dad affects you that fucking much? Yes. Like, my dad? Hey, I love my dad. 
I love my dad. I could give a shit. Like, I really don't care about well, him. Well, maybe you know, Cam Dilla, Cam Dilla, maybe your correction should be, I don't understand why you complain. Either you, you, uh, like you said, maybe you have other parts of your life because you can't relate, or he's not giving you the full thought because you can't enter into it. You don't appreciate it. If you don't appreciate something, you should tell me, give me the full thought or stop talking about it. Because if he gives you the full thought, then you can appreciate why he has problems with his dad. He, your real complaint is, I don't understand. It's your fault I don't understand. It's your fault I don't appreciate the problem with your dad. He's not helping you to appreciate it. Tell him. Fuck. Yeah, high-pitched. Like, I would really, like, when you I hate, I cringe all the time. I, like, the, with me, like, I just really don't get it, like, without the relationship between the both of you. Like, you always just come in here, like, it just annoys the fuck out of me. Like, you he has all, that's all. You should tell him, it's like, he says an abbreviated thing. Like, his dad complains about a little thing, and then he obsesses about it, and he talks about how, he, he talks about, I guess, about his side of it, but he rarely talks about, like, how his dad is, and, uh, why he, why he is so, I don't know, why, why he's so, uh, angry about the way his dad behaves around him, or what his dad is really like. Cause you get a, like, a sense every now and then, but it's not really full, fully fleshed out. Yeah, like, I mean, my, I, hey, I'm like, I do look up to my dad. I'm like, this is like from childhood. I would look up to my dad. I, I aspired to be him for some reason. I, I just thought that like my dad was this awesome guy, especially when I was younger in my like, like, you know, when I was like 10 or like 11, 12, like, man, my dad really knows how to like handle business. He's good with money. Like I, and I used to think about these things like, man, how the hell, am, how am I going to live my life? Am I going to be as good as he is him? Am I going to be like as smart as Tim? Do, am I going to like, am I going to take care of like, things at home as good as he does. Literally, I would sit and ponder these things at that, at such a young age, at that, well, not such, like, how, how young, how at young? that young age. Huh? How young? I was like 11, 12, oh, 13. Shit. Like, I would, literally, I would, <laughs> I would sit down and I would think that, like, man, and when I get older, how, that's, like, I'm just saying that's where, like, my neurosis, like, really started. I could, you can really say that that was, like, a turning point in my life with neurosis. Because I, <laughs> Who the hell thinks about that? Like, at that freaking age, don't people think about video games and stuff like that? No, me, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that stuff. And it, it's just crazy. Like, I don't, like, now, when it comes, like, now, like, we, like, fast forward all, like, a like, couple of years, like, it's just weird. Like, I, I don't really, like, I try, like, I, I do think about a lot of things, but I'm, like, now beginning, I'm trying, like, I'm slowing down. Like, I'm just not, I'm not thinking too far ahead now. I'm just, like, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want that to consume me because obviously that's like the neurosis gets like even more like bigger. I don't want, like, I don't want that stuff to freaking consume me. I want to be happy. Like, I just think that, that like more like I sit and ponder about things, like think about things in the future. Like it brings me down. It makes me even more upset. It takes the life out of me. Yeah. You got to be able to do some, uh, like so, they call it actionable items or things you can do like a schedule where you could work towards something. If you just ponder, it's like, it's like, which, which scratcher should I buy to win the lotto? You know, it's, uh, like these pipe dreams that you kind of just, have this vague notion about, I want to be rich and famous, but no way to do it, then there's no point in even no, pondering no about it. Yeah, like, I mean, like, high pitch, dude. Like, I just really, I would like to, like, learn more. Like, I really would like to learn more, like, the, between you and your dad. Like, whenever you, you just give the full thoughts so, on, like, I can get into it because I was, yeah, like, you were talking about your boss and stuff earlier. Like, I mean, yeah, like, I, hey, I, I haven't been working that much. Like, I, I've been working the last, I, I've had a boss for the last couple of months, like, I was working with. Like, I, I would, like, I would also get condescended at things like he, that he would say. But, like, when it comes to your dad, bro, like, it's just that every time you just talk about it, I'm just like, oh, God, what the fuck? It's a All right, now you know. It. Tune in. Next time yeah. he's talking about it, you, it's on you to voice your complaints. That's how you govern a relationship. you got to voice the complaint. Put the burden on him. Yeah, I didn't do that. Fuck. And I, I, I just fucking sat in class all fucking day. I'm, I'm just, I'm just fucking tired. I don't know. Ugh. You're not tired. You're neurotic. Yeah. It's just like Black Kid. You're not tired. You're neurotic. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Deja vu. Man, I got chewed out so bad. Fuck. Yeah, I, I get buttered. I get buttered very easily. Like, I have to feel better than Black Kid, than High Pitch, Candela, JTG. That's, I'm that's only where I feel good. If not... Deja vu. Deja vu. I'm bored. I don't think it's your, your feelings. No, shut up, shut up. Like, no, no, deja vu, deja vu. I'm helping you, you idiots. This is why you don't... Dude, I feel like... I, this is why you don't move very much. You would rather fight people than actually move forward. I am bored. I'm your audience. You're supposed to move me. I agree with you. If I'm bo if I'm bored, I don't have to sit through it. You should be speaking up, JTG. If you're bored, you should the fuck off. Yeah, and here's the problem, Deja Vu. If I'm bored, the people around your life will be bored also. If you can move me, you can move the people around well, your life. Well, why isn't High Pitch Nigger speaking up? Maybe he's interested. I don't know. I don't know either. High Pitch?
Right? I thought for a second, actually, I thought he was going somewhere. But then when you called him out, I saw he wasn't because it was so easy for you to steamroll over him. Then I realized he was full of shit. Okay, you fucked up then. Deja vu, let's go. Yeah, fuck, but I got chewed out and then I come back. And high pitch is revealing the feeling. I'm like, fuck. Like, I was the one who got chewed out and you were benefiting. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, like, I don't know, that's... Uh, I, Deja, I'm just buttered. Deja vu. I so think you're not going to do anything about it, in other words. You're just going to sit there. No, I want to be the one benefiting, not high pitch. I, I got you now. Well, let's hear your reaction. Fucking... Still waiting. Dude, when I'm comfortable, like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable when I'm like, what? Wait, 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 what? You feel comfortable, but yet you feel No, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel fucking comfortable. Okay. But I'm like, black kid, you know, man? Yeah, it'd be great to hang out with you someday. I see guys doing that. I'm like... Fuck, I don't, I don't feel that way. Okay, maybe, maybe I should just start being really nice so that I don't shoot myself in the foot. No, I think the problem uh, is, the problem is all the moralizing in Game of Thrones you play behind the scenes. If you just give your fucking real reaction, you wouldn't be here year after year after year doing the same bullshit. Yeah, I feel like I'm finally starting to speak some of it. Like, I, 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 I am a guy who gets buttered so easily. All right, like, let's no, go. God, you're let's so go. Hard, deja vu. No one, no one likes you. Okay, I can't hear that. No, 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 I'm trying to help you. So shut up. I want to tell you. Fuck, shut up, JJ. I I think you're not listening. I think you're not listening. Even if I'm not revealing the feeling, I think you're not listening. Like, I do not want to use... You should be clear if you're revealing the feeling or not. You shouldn't have to check with anybody. You should know if you're revealing the feeling or not. Well, today I'm like, he's doing well. Fuck, I think too much. I think so fucking too much. Like, like, fuck, what is, who's like doing well? Like, okay, I I kind of probably have to listen. Well, I was jealous. I was jealous. Like, okay, Candela, when I saw you earlier, I'm like, fuck you. You should never be better than me. But then when I saw you, B.O. Bro High School, I mean, High Pitch, I don't understand. You. I'm like, fuck, these two guys are having a moment. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, I was I was jealous. Even though earlier in the hangout, I didn't like you. I'm like, you motherfucker, you're going to sneer at me, Candela? You don't do shit for me, you piece of shit. But then I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so I, I'm always between, like, I don't like you. And I'm like, fuck, I got to I gotta do things like you when you're doing it well. I know. I, I guess I don't ultimately not like you that much. I just get buttered when I'm not doing well. I just get buttered. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> interesting class. JTG, <laughs> you came back with fire, and uh, I was very impressed. Even though you've been working at Target and you're going into MLM scams, I feel sorry uh-huh. for that. But I, ho- I wish you wouldn't go into MLM scams. But uh, I'm at going. Least I'm going. At least you're back and speaking, so uh, that's a plus. Uh, Black Kid, you need to speak more. You fucking sit on uh, the fence. You're just gonna hurt your balls. You got to speak more. High pitch. Uh, you're starting to come around. Starting to come out of your shell. I like it. But again, you got to speak more as well. You your your class starts right when you get here. And, it, and if you're looking at the screen or looking at other shit, looking at black porn, don't come because you can't afford to do that. You got to fucking speak up. Camdilla, nice work at the end. Finally, uh, even deja vu. Little ray of hope. But all you guys got to fucking start right at the beginning. You still. Playing the same old bullshit games, it's it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You gotta get out of your shell. You gotta make the decision to speak. Gotta be okay with making a mistake. You're not gonna make a mistake in here. Where else are you gonna fucking make a mistake at? You gotta be okay with making a mistake here. You gotta get used to it. It's just the nature of things. You just gotta get used to it. And if you're not willing, well, you're fucked. Yeah, I felt I made a mistake and got kicked out. Like I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> My point is. <laughs> You got to be willing to make a mistake. You got to be willing to make a mistake. And if you're not, you're going to hang on to your pride or you're going to hang on to your pride to the grave. And as far as I'm concerned, you're already dead, me, brother. Damn, yeah, son. Hey, Mike, you know, we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately, you know? Maybe get away. And, like, maybe you should talk about it. You'll feel a lot better. And I go, no, it's okay, you know? I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone. I'm just working on myself. They go, well, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here, you know. And you'll probably feel a lot better if you talk about it. So why don't you talk about it? I go, no, I don't want to. I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. They just keep bugging me. They just keep bugging me. Bills on the side. It's got me. It's just not. It's not a great one. But not. You want to have it. Say that great one. You can see the way. I'm not drinking. Here's the design. You're the one who's drinking. Here's the design. You're driving me. Great thing. Here's the I was in my room and I was just like staring at the wall thinking about everything then yeah I was thinking about nothing Oh that's deep Hey I, I don't did you guys hear what he just said that's deep I'm gonna give you that Who's next